Hi y'all, this video is about the roofing of our home and garage. I hope you enjoy it and that you join our adventure. This is a uh, cutoff piece of the roofing that we used on our home. It's a uh, galvalum material, which is galvanized uh, steel. Uh, galvalum is a special finish, so it's a little bit nicer than galvanized and holds up better and, and lasts longer, and better look, that type of thing. Uh, it's 26 gauge, and this particular style that we use is called an R panel. Our panel kind of defines the shape of the, of the panel. It's three feet wide, and you can get them in varying lengths, anywhere from eight, 10, 12, 14, you know, two foot increments, probably up to about 28 feet. You can probably get them a little longer than that if you need to, but you'd have to custom order them. And basically it's three feet wide. You'll notice it's got four high ridges. And when you uh, install the panel, uh, this, ridge will overlap this ridge to make it watertight and then also between each seam that you make they have a, a piece of adhesive that goes on here and then when you screw the two sheets together it makes it a watertight seal. Uh, some people install these with screws in the in the high ridges especially on the seams and then also in the lower panels we chose to install ours with screws on the high ridges and not in the lower panel. Uh, the reason for that is eventually over time the uh, uh, washers, the little neoprene washers underneath these screws that we use, they wear out and they have to be replaced. And if it's in a low panel, that's where all your water flows and so your roof will start leaking sooner than if the screws are in a high ridge. So that's why we chose to go with a high ridge. So that's our Galvalume metal roofing. Uh, we're anxious for our first rain where we can go inside and hear what it sounds like. And uh, there you go. What gauge roofing is Tw that? 26 gauge. Okay, and what's the difference between the gauges? Uh, they make 24 gauge uh, uh, and 26 gauge and 29 gauge. Uh, the smaller the number, the thicker the material. 29 gauge is, is thinner than this. 24 gauge would be a little thicker than this. Ours is kind of middle of the road. 26 gauge should hold up to uh, uh, hail damage a lot better than the 29 gauge. So that, that's why we went with that. It won't dimple quite so badly. Thanks, son. Mm -hmm. The roofers have come out. They're gonna be putting titanium sheeting on the decking of the garage. Here comes the roofing. <laughs> now unloading all their equipment to start working on the roof. The roofer, because he wants to get the job done, has said that he might help us go on and get it primed because our painter is out of country right now. So we're getting a roof on the garage today, it looks like. They're getting the roof on the house in the garage. This is Galvalume. They still need to put the ridge caps up there.
They've been working on the garage and now they're working on the house, putting the gavel loom up on it. It is a hot day at the homestead. I pity these roofers. Front door and a roof. Wow, making progress. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We also appreciate your comments and suggestions. They help us to improve our channel. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. We'd love you to join our adventure as we build our home and our homestead. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Hi y'all, this is part four in our video series of framing our home. The framers have put OSB up, they've wrapped the house with Tyvek, and we have windows and doors. So stay with us, check out this video, and we hope you enjoy it.